Well, good for you, Mrs. Rich Bitch. Welcome back, guys. Um, Fortress of Solitude here. What's happening? Bringing you yet another witchcraft and wizardry, Minecraft. So as you saw in the last episode, we had just made it to Diagon Alley. Um, and now in this episode, we're just going to have a little look around. Um, yeah, and see what there is to explore and do in Diagon Alley. So let's head on in. So here we are at the entrance to Diagon Alley. Oh, got a little cutscene here. This is Diagon Alley. Here you can purchase supplies and solve quests for the shop owners. Flourishing blocks. I think that's where we get all our books from. School and formal wear. Oh, we have to buy our robes and everything. Ollivanders, of course, go get our wand. And of course, Gringotts Bank. You can get money for your school supplies in Gringotts Wizarding Bank, located at the end of Diagon Alley. Right, so. Right, so we've got to make our way to Gringotts, but first let's have a little look around. We're very busy here. Visit the Ministry of Magic and talk to someone there if you want anything. Oh, nice, nice friendly chat right there. Got anything else we can look around at in here? Let's have a little, oh, another guy to talk to. Go bother somebody else. Okay. Like your mustache, mate. Cool. Ooh, there's a presumably a firework, a uh, fire, fireplace into one of the flumes. Need to get into the Ministry of Magic. Anything exciting in here? No, just some old pieces of parchment lying around and some candles. Guess let's head on upstairs, see what we've got up here. Can I get this out? There we go. Just a load of old books. Oh, got a chest at the end here. What have we got in this one? So we've got some more coins, some parchment, and a quick quote quill. A magical quill that writes automatically as the subject speaks though it tends to modify it to be more sensational. God, I could do with that. That would make these videos a bit more interesting, wouldn't it? But, right, let's head on. I love the sounds as well. You can hear the birds in the background and, like, the muffled sound of people talking in the background. Very cool. Um, what have we got in this? A little library this side. Hermione's favourite place this would be. Oh, hello. Sorry to interrupt you. Got this guy to talk to. Welcome. Second-hand books because you don't want the very best. You want cheap, and we've got cheap. Feel free to look around. The spines are already bent, and the pages are already ripped or torn straight out. But that doesn't matter. You and I both know it's the words that are important, and those are all there. Well, most of them. Goodbye. Come back to you later to buy our books. Oh, got a basement down here. What have we got down here? Ah, oh, another locked door. So hopefully some look good in there, but can't get in there at the moment, unfortunately. And do some more exploring out here. Hey guys, how's it going? New wizard here. Like your hat? Can talk to this guy there. Wait, stop. Come talk to me. I swear, the street is always full of kids. Hogwarts students everywhere. Wow. Yeah, don't need to be so grumpy about it. <gasps> broom says. Look, it's the fireball. The fastest broom in the world. There it is. So got the Nimbus 2000 at the bottom there, the Nimbus 2001 in the middle, and then the fireball at the top. Definitely going to be getting ourselves a fireball at the end. Or later on. Somewhere. Oh, what's this? Brooms are a great way to get around Hogwarts and Hogsmeade, so I'm getting one. No one in my family appreciates flying as I do. So, got some weird iron knight looking thing in there. Some brooms lying around. There we go again, the Nimbus 2000, 2001, and the fireball at the top there. Very cool stuff. Head on upstairs, anything? Oh, a chest, let's see what we've got in here. Nothing. There's some interesting Quidditch goggles there. Another broomstick on that shelf. But that's about it. So we'll head on down there to the bottom. 
another locked door down there. Let's talk to this guy. Quaffles, bludgers, bats, bats, broomsticks. We've got it. Welcome to broomsticks. What can I do for you today? Show me what you have for sale. So we got a beater's bat. The Nimbus 2000 is 2000 gold. So I can't quite afford that at the moment. Nimbus 2001 and there's the Firebolt and some Quidditch goggles. Gonna be buying, definitely gonna be buying that Firebolt when we can. But, ooh. Tell me about the Nimbus 2000. Ah, the Nimbus 2000, a lovely thing. It's a racing broom produced by the Nimbus Racing Broom Company. At the time of its release, it was the fastest broomstick in production until the Nimbus 2001 took over that title. Yes, the Nimbus 2001. It's a racing broom produced by the Nimbus Racing Broom Company. It is faster than the Nimbus 2000, and though it is not as fast as the Firebolt, it is still used by the majority of Quidditch teams across the globe. Ah, the Firebolt. Now you're talking. This world-class, state-of-the-art racing broom is the fastest in existence. Each individually selected birch twig in the broomstick has been honed to aerodynamic perfection. There isn't a lot of them in existence. I hear it's because the goblin workers involved in the patented ironwork are prone to strikes and walkouts at even the smallest provocation. Ah, so I'll be one of the only ones with a firebolt then. What can I use broom? Broomsticks are a useful way to get around Hogwarts and Hogmeade, also granting access to some great views. There are also flying tracks scattered. Thank you. Oh, there we go. We've got another golden snitch in there. So we'll collect that. So there's one collected. I did take it. I swear. Run! Run! Oh, they're back to looking at an empty case, but when they come down, they stare at me for stealing the snitch that they were looking. But right, let's uh, run on out. We spoke to you. Can we go in here at all? Yes, we can. Ooh, it's very, very white in here. What are you selling? I'm very fond of nice things. How fortunate that I can afford them. Well, good for you. This is rich bitch. Why, hello, young customer. Welcome to Twilfit and Tattings. We're proud to cater for the finest and wealthiest wizarding families throughout the ages. The Lestranges, the Blacks, the Malfoys. Controversial. Oh, well. Yes, but very well dressed. I would like to buy some of them. Suspender trousers. Trousers and belt. Trousers and pullover. Bowler hat. Top hat, fez, <laughs> tiny red fez, grey hat, purple hat, green hat, blue hat, red hat, grey pointed hat, grey. <gasps> I want that one, the purple pointed hat. Oh, that's um, Newt Scarmander's jacket by the looks of it. Clothing, beige jacket worn by muggles and wizards alike. Does it say? No, it doesn't say. A sleeveless sweater in the colours of your house. Prefer it with sleeves. Yeah. Thank you. And now I'm going to collect all the gold from my friend. Thank you very much. Pleasure doing business with you. Let's see what he's got upstairs. The spiral staircase. All the way up. There we go. Just some examples of the high quality clothing he has up to offer. So we got Slivering, Hufflepuff, or Ravenclaw, I think Ravenclaw's good, can't really remember. Some string, some linen cloth, and some scissors. Don't know why we need, why we might need these things, but we'll take them anyway. And then Hufflepuff and Gryffindor. Can't wait to find out what house I'll be in. Yes, later on when we arrive at Hogwarts, we all get sorted into our houses during the sorting ceremony. So very excited for that. Hopefully I'll get Gryffindor. Um, my Pottermore um, house is Slytherin, so could also get that one. Um, but we'll see that later on. Owl post in there. Got a little courtyard out the back here by the looks of it. Got anything else? Any more golden snitches to collect? No, don't look like it. So let's go back onto the main street. Bruised stews. Buy some 
potions and stuff by the way, so we can talk to this guy. Good day to you, and good day to you too, Kevin. Been cooking fish for near 30 years now. People say I do good work, and I don't aim to argue with them. Well, give me some to try then. Three. Ah, uh, oh, I thought he was gonna have a. He's probably like, What are you doing back here? Get out, this is my kitchen. I'm sorry, run. Head on out. Mm. What have we got here? Oh, sweet shop. Yeah. <gasps> oh my god, it looks so good. Oh, I'm good. This is making me hungry. Got some waffles, the cake again. Some lollipops. Oh, there's a waffle. <gasps> Every flavoured beans. I like, tried them from the Harry Potter store. Oh, can I buy some? <sighs> I would like to buy some sweets. Yes, please. So I can buy an apple. 30 pots, every flavour beans. When consumed, this item will restore a small amount of health. Chocolate frogs. Oh, pumpkin pie. Oh, I want it all. It's making me so hungry. They all look so good. Giving me up. Oh, look at that ice cream sundae. Oh, I want it. Flourish and box. Get some books. General store. What have they got in here? Hello? Are you looking to buy or sell? Oh, I have something to sell you. So, so we're not going to sell our potions. Our butter beer will keep that because it restores our health as well as that. The book. Uh, we'll keep the book just in case we need it. Sell the flask because it's junk. Sell some strings. We don't need it. Sell the linen cloth. Don't need it. Sell the parchment. Don't need it. Sell the silverware. Don't need it. Keep our letter from Hogwarts, we'll sell the scissors. Keep everything else. Sweet, right? Thank you, pleasure doing business with you. Let's go head off to Organ and Blurt. Blurt, however you pronounce it. Ooh, wait. Book of Blocks. Come back later. Okay. Yeah. Got some special books in the cabinet there. Chessboard. Some guy just stood looking at it. In his Ravenclaw rooms. Hello, fellow Hogwarts shoot. Some trophies. Ooh, what's this guy? I don't get out much. Too many books to read. Sad up. Could be playing games like this. Why would you be reading? Oh. There's... Ancient runes are fascinating, don't you think? Hmm. Very, uh, Hermione-esque, it's not her, but could be really relative. So we'll pop out, took some damage. And definitely not too much. Head on a bit more down the street for rent. Offices. Don't know why I'd want to rent some offices. A hobology store. It's quite cool in here. Oh wow. Oh, that looks awesome. It's so pretty. What do you have for sale? Bundle of fluxweed, gillyweed, bone powder, green powder, yellow powder, flobberworm mucus, lovely, and acromantula venom. Oh. Take that later to brew some potions. Just a load of plant. Ooh, yellow attic up here. Let's head on up here, see if there's anything interesting up here. Anything? Oh, got a little, little box. Oh, got some gold and a thousand magical herbs and fungi. Rare book written by the appropriately named Philidia Fl Spore. This book details certain magical plants often used in potions. Sweet, we'll take that with us too. Definitely going to come in handy later in potions class. So, back down the ladder, close the hatch. Just so she'll never know we've been in it. Right. All the way down. Thank you. And we'll head on back out. What else have we got? Oh. Hmm. Selling things you don't need to vendors and junk shops like this is a great way to earn a few galleons. Oh, sweet. Okay, so just someone we can sell stuff to. What are you selling? 
a remember all. That'd be cool. A large glass ball that contains smoke which turns red when its owner has forgotten something. A silver mug. Silverware. Silver candlestick. Oh, a crystal ball. Magical crystal sphere which she is gaze into for the purpose of divination. Unfortunately, can't get any of this stuff yet. Do anything lying around I can take? Gosh, is that? Big ass building. A raven claw symbol there. Oh my god! It's Nevla! We suck you! Oh my god! Ah, oh, holding all the gold on you. You naughty little Nevla. We suck you! Oh my god! Right, can I? I wanna. Can I? Can I? Can I? I wanna pick you up! Come with me! Come with me. I want you. You shall be my Niffler. Come, come with me. No. I don't want to take him with me. Bye bye, Niffler. It's so cute. It's so cute. Head on back out onto the street. Uh, Second hand robes in there. There's Green Dock's bank at the end. Quills, buy some quills. It's amazing how when you come off the main street, the like sound of everything just changes. What are you looking at? Yeah, yeah, I'm walking around here. I'm what? Very, very dark looking building there. Anything down here? Just a little alleyway. Some more students. Talk to you. What are you doing back here? Beat it, kid. Typical slithering. Got chests here. We got anything in here? Ooh. Another mole trap potion. An apple. Bundle of flux wheat and red powder. We'll take all that. 129 gold. Yeah. Starting to look a bit better. Need about. Ooh. Hello, pigeons. Hello. Good day, young friend. What can I do for you? Have you got anything to sell? Or have you got any gold or stuff I can take? Can't see anything at the moment. Oh, got a chest there. Oh, mysterious coin. Silver coin with an engraving. Vala do Hiris. Vala Mogulis. Okay, we've now walked into Game of Thrones. Clearly, whoever made this is one very big film and movie now to have Star Wars quick. Ah, it's Edric! <gasps> hey, Edric! Hey! Hey, how you, how you doing? Hey, get him, get on my shoulder. Get him, get him. Hey, hey, I want you. I want a headwick. I want, I want a headwick. Give, give me a headwick. Give me a headwick. Good day, young friend. What can I do for you? It's a little dark in here. Yes, owls are nocturnal creatures, so they prefer the darkness. Tell me about owls. You're interested in owls? Wonderful. Well, owls are birds of prey. They are nocturnal, and they are intelligent. They are even able to communicate quite well with witches and wizards. In the wizarding world, they have a number of functions, such as delivering posts, making long-distance communications, possible in ways muggles could never dream of. Tell me about your shop. Well, wow, you're a curious Elops Owl Emporium is a chain of shops that sell owls and supplies to care for them. There is one in Glasgow, one in Leeds, and one here in London, in Diagon Alley. Can I have an owl? Give, give me an owl. Give me an owl. I want one. I want to buy one. Let, let me buy an owl. <gasps> oh my god, this is so cool. Go the <gasps> the little owl eggs! Oh my god! Oh, that is so cute! Oh my god! Oh, I want a little owl! Oh, hello, pigeon. What are you doing? Get out! Get out of here, pigeon! Get out! Get out of here, pigeon! It's for owls only. Bad pigeon. But look! Oh, look at the little owls. They're kind of creepy looking. Just but... oh, they're so cute. I want one. I want an owl. Oh, I didn't see these guys here. <gasps> Hey, I want a headwick. Gotta be. It's gotta be a headwick. Oh, 
We went past the sweet shop. We've got to go into Fred and George's sweet shop, haven't we? Can't not come to Diagon Alley and not come here. Oh, this is awesome. Step up, step up. We've got dung bombs, fireworks, skiving snack boxes, just in time for school. Welcome to Weasley's Wizard Weezes. Show me what you got, sir. All flavour beans, chocolate frog, a dung bomb, weather in a bottle, fireworks launcher, by not um, well, omnioculars, a set of magical binoculars, two telescopes mounted side by side, allowing the viewer to see distance object. Spectrospects, fake moustache, lion mask, spot lunar wares, owl mask, <sighs> I want the owl mask, Weasley mask, self shuffling cards, sweet, I want the lion mask and Luna's glasses right there. The wizard hat. I'm getting some dung bombs. Very useful if you're ever attacked by an angry magical beast or a slivering. Oh, got a, got a bit close there, mate. Oh my god, what are these things? They're so small and cute and fluffy. I wasn't looking. <laughs> some pots. Oh, a little snail, mate. Oh, a little. Oh, so this is why we came out earlier. Okay, so that's how we missed it because we went around. We went around the back of the shop. Right, let's head on. Oh, can be transfigured with Veravetto. Definitely gonna come back here and turn that into a water goblet or whatever they turn it into. So, head up here. One of the guys, one of the other Weezy. Step up, step up. We've got Dung Bongs, Fireworks, Skyrim, Snack Boxes, Just in Time for School, Weezy, Wizard Weezy. So, there's Fred or George or George and Fred, whichever. Luna's on the front cover. Oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't looking. The pumpkins over there. The trumpet in the window. Some more beans. Oh, look at the little purple blobby thingy. So I want. I don't know what it is, but I want. One. Got another knight over there. Some more cakes. And upstairs. Some more. Oh, don't you punch your wand at me, woman! Yeah. Lady wizards, which is pointing our wand at me. So, nothing much to do up here, unfortunately. But, oh wow, the starry sky is awesome. I wish my ceiling actually. Uh, but, right, we'll head on back up. Obscurus books, so another bookshop. And make our way down to Gringotts. <sighs> Ice cream? Oh, I want some ice cream. Can I have some ice cream, please? Good day, Florine Fortescue. Yes, that's right, like this Dexter Fortescue. And this is my ice cream parlor. Doesn't look like you're selling ice creams there, but. Why, yes, don't you know him? He was headmaster of Hogwarts when he was alive. Interesting. Hawk 3 shop. Wizarding equipment. <sighs> Ollivanders to students outside with that one. Oh, look at them. Oh, the music's so cool. Come back later. Okay, thank you very much. Thought, thought you were going to give me a one. Oh, look at them all. I want one. Give me a one. Give me a one. Ooh, got a basement down here. Anything interesting? Looks like Ollivander's an alcoholic. Oh, you can create lime with the charm Lumos. Okay, so that's cool. Looks like we can get down there later on. So, look, we suppose that there might be a chest at the end there or something, but can't go down there at the moment because it just goes pitch back and there's a little bit scary. But anything else? Hi, oh, some gold. There we go. Well, thank you very much. I'll use that to buy my one later. Might as well head on upstairs. We have everywhere else. Anything to look at? Just lots of wands. 
school and a back door, but I can't get out there because that the spell you. Very, very cool. Downstairs. And we've made it to Green Yachts. Ooh. Nocturne Alley. Mm. Ooh, very spooky looking alley, guys. Should we, should we have a quick look? Yeah, why not? So, quick look. Rather ominous, sing ominous sounding music right there. Okay, uh, have a look down here. Not lost eye. No, I know exactly where I'm going. <gasps> oh my god, there's some sort of skeleton. Oh my god. That's awesome. That's so cool. Death each one. You look awfully young to me in here. What do you want? You're a goblin. What of it? Oh, I'm sorry. An angry goblin. Take your questions somewhere else. What do you have to say? Magical Isle, Mad Eye Moody's Eye, a Skull, Death Eater Mask, When Muggles Attack. Why are you got Death Eater Mask, huh? You Death Eater? Hmm? Hmm? You Death Eater? You are lucky. Okay, Death Eater. Another creepy skull. Do you got any stuff I can still. Oh, there's a Magical Eye right there. Got some more coins. Elixir of life. When consumed, this potion will grant you a hundred extra health points for two minutes. Definitely taking that. Mudbloods and how to spot them. Rare book. This book by Pure Blood author Barrett Fay Advocates. The supremacy of pure blood wizards and explains how to identify individuals from muggle relatives. Dang. I'll take it just because why not? But. We do not condone the use of the word mudbloods. Right. A couple of uh, death eaters right there. Organ and birds. Oh, have you got the um, vanishing cabinet in here? Well, well, I'm pleased to see such a young face in here. Do be careful around the displays. These things are so very fragile and so very dangerous. Many items here and there are, well, they have certain dark magical properties. There's the hand that grabs Harry's wrist later on. Oh, in one of the films. Let's sneak on through here. You got any, any gold? Head, skull, death eater mask, the back door to a couple more goblins. Look at him, there's a smile. Uh, it's so cute. Right, it's. Um, uh, I don't know. How do I get back to. I want to get back to Dark and you want something else? You want something? Else you wouldn't be messing up my air. What have you got to sell? What have I got to sell? I don't want to sell any of these. Uh... Well, you can have a quick quote quill. That's all you have. The rest is mine. Oh, it looks like more ones down here. Ones for bad uh, people. Right, let's see if we can uh, make our way back to Diagon Alley, now this creepy area. Ooh, what do you want? Did you ever hear the tragedy of Cadmus Pavarel, the second brother? No, I thought not. It's not a story Dumbledore would tell you. 
It's an old legend Codmus Pavarel, Pavarel was a pure blood wizard who held the resurrection stone, a stone so powerful it could use its magic to bring back life. He held such strong dark magic that Cadmus Pavarel could keep the ones he cared about from dying. The Deathly Hallows is a pathway to many abilities some consider to be unnatural. He became so powerful the only thing he was the only thing he was afraid of was losing his power, which eventually, of course, he did. Unfortunately, the revived ones did not belong. He was driven mad, then killed himself in his grief. It's ironic. He could save others from death, but not himself. Mix of uh, Star Wars quotes going on there. Which, as a massive fan of Star Wars and Harry Potter, is awesome to see both quoted in the same game. What are you doing here? Get lost. I'm sorry. Just give me a go, and I'll be out of here. Slytherin. Ah. Let's get out of here. Ooh. Can be lifted with Wingardium Leviosa. Okay, so I guess we've got to put it in a hole over there. But can't do that at the moment. So yeah, when you do certain stuff, you can... Once you've got to a certain point, you can talk to people, and they'll give you little quests to do. Now give you stuff, but right. Let's uh, now let's make our way back to Diagon Alley and head to Gringotts to get our money. Oh, here we go. Here's the way up. Back up here. Do, 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 do. There we go. Ah, back to the safety of Diagon Alley and right outside Gringotts. Not an interesting place to put Nocturne Alley. But let's have a quick look around the back of Gringotts. See if there's anything around here. Anything around here worth looking at? Got a little chest. Got some gold and an apple, we'll take them. Little guy still at the back here. Oh, hello dear. How nice to see a new face. Not a lot of people come all the way down here to the end of the street. Welcome to Scrolls and Tomes. Feel free to look around and let me know if you find anything to your liking. Don't know. Have you got some gold for me? That's all I care about right now. Just gold books everywhere. Oh, gold. There we go. I'll take that. Thank you very much. And run. We go the back door into bring up. No. It's a very big door. I wonder what they're hiding in there. They say Gringotts is the safest place on earth. It's certainly not the friendliest. Oh, apparently the goblins aren't very friendly. Another little bit behind there. the Daily Prophet. Let's go see if Rita Skeeter's at work. That's how I was expecting. Go ahead, please, but be quick about it. And don't disturb Barnabas Cuff. He's a very busy man and he hasn't got time to talk to people like you. Get out of my way, child. Can't you see I'm busy? I've got deadlines. Yeah. Oh, is that, is that Rita Skeeter? Yeah, that looks like that could be Rita Skeeter right there. Another chest. Another stack of gold, some parchment, take it. Instead of going back around, we'll just jump off that. Shops to go into. Doesn't look like there's anything else to do around here. Can go into these shops as well. Ooh, a little, little bar. Why, hello. I'm. Barleyman Butterbeer, the owner of the proprietor of the Wine Barrel Inn. How can I help you? Give me your gold. Give me that. Give me, give me. There we go. Take that. Thank you very much. Door behind you. Can I open it? Ooh, some more gold. And a chest. Some more gold. Some cheese. And some silverware. Go sell the silverware at some point. Right. 
Med det blir bergarna lite. Om du följer mig så. Oh wow. That is awesome. Wow, this is amazing. But look at the little goblets. Oh, that's so cute. I love. Ah, I'm bigger than you. Yeah, that's right. You look up to me. You look up to me. I'm bigger than you. Hey, come through. Get out of my way. More important here. Actual human-sized person here. Midget. Oh, I can talk to you. You can't trust wizards with gold. They don't respect it. But we can trust a midget like you. I don't think so. So there's our quest. A quick look. Come up here. Oh, looks like we've got a little vault. The way down to the vault to where the dragon is. Okay. Can you help me? What is your inquiry? I need money for my school supplies. How did you think this might come about? I would like to exchange this into your currency. I see. You have 250 gold. That should be enough for your supplies. Now get it. Thanks. Sweet. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed exploring Diagon Alley. I'll see you in the next episode where we'll go get our um, school supplies and get ready to make our way to Hogwarts. Um, as always, leave a like, comment and subscribe if you liked what you saw. Um, thanks for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Bye!